Google has just launched a tool that's going to screw you over. Content creators, it's going to screw over advertisers, and it's going to screw over YouTube itself, which will earn less money. And for sure, thousands of YouTube channels are going to go on or will earn practically less than half of what. Before we dive into this mess, leave a comment. So below, if you already use any artificial intelligence tool to help you create your YouTube content. Of course, I'm totally in favor of using AI, especially since I have 10 YouTube channels, eight of which are monetized. There's no way I could do this without artificial intelligence. All right, you're going to search for Google AI Studio here, okay? Google AI Studio. It might show up as the first or second result because sometimes an ad appears, all right? Then you're going to click here, which in this case is the first one, and you'll enter Google AI Studio. Rodrigo, what is Google AI Studio? Basically, Google has released a lab where it puts its main models that are still in test and you can use it for free. What we're going to do here is we're going to select the model. Okay, Gemini 2.0 flash. Okay, I'll put it here. If there's another one here, it will change the options here. Look, I'm just gonna click on this one here. For example, you can see that the options have changed here. So let's keep it on Gemini 2.0 flash. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to go here to YouTube. You're going to choose a video here. Okay, let's choose this one by Leon, by Nielsi, by Koisa Dinner Legal. We're going to copy the link here from the video. Okay, and we're going to paste a video link here. I've already done this here to show you. All right, you just paste it here. You paste it and it will load and when it loads, right? I'll show you here, just press. All right, I'm not going to press because use up my tokens, okay? There's a limit on tokens, but it's quite large, all right? Pretty big, but I'm not 10. All right, so look, the video has appeared here. Oh, look how interesting. It's showing here 173 thousand tokens okay almost 170 i'm not gonna talk technically about what it is but basically here's the deal you can upload a video that's an hour and a half two hours long cool and what are you going to do you're going to have a conversation with the video in other words you can extract information from the video without actually watching and what happened how do we make money folk we make money from people watch our video now how does google launch a tool that allows you to in some way not watch the video. Because if you don't watch the video, we don't make money. Look at that, but let's go because things are gonna get worse. Look, you can take the video here, right? After it loads and you can have a conversation with it. Like I said, I did some tests. Bring me the most important details from the video. In an organized and didactic way for those who don't understand the subject. The video is about the United States. They will cancel the visas of those who protest online. It's a 10 minute video. Then you say, damn, I don't have 10 minutes to spare. I'm going to throw it here in studio. Look, just give me a summary. Look. The video is a debate about a program from a secretary of the United States government that will use artificial intelligence to monitor the accounts of foreign students and check if they have pro-Palestine posts, meaning criticisms of the Israeli government. The creator of the video raises a series of issues, freedom of speech, language, prejudice, the right to defense. So he made a summary for me. And look, you could already do this with other tools, but now it's an official Google tool which owns YouTube. So check this out. Now, what can you You can do, besides not watching, you can pirate. What do you mean by that, Rodrigo? You can put it here, transcribe the video for me, and then it will transcribe the video. I mean, I'm not watching. The video, it's already the, 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 the Koisa the Nerd is no longer making money because I didn't watch the video. Cool, cool, right? Look how toxic. And then look how interesting. You got the transcription of the video. Look, word for word, and then I put another prompt. Oh, rewrite the text in Portuguese. Try to reduce the debts a bit. I'm going to make a script based on the Coisa de Nerd video. And look, it just gave me here, if I wanted to record the video now, look, just, hey everyone, I want to chat with you about a somewhat controversial topic. I wanted to know what you all think, because depending on how you present a topic, it can completely change its meaning. I'm going to give two examples. First, a report from The Verge, the American Secretary of State, Marco Rubio, was talking about using artificial intelligence to eliminate the addiction of students who protest in favor of Palestine. In other words, I didn't watch the Coisa de Nerd video, I didn't give them any money, ID, and I'm still taking advantage of their video to make a script for myself, all with the endorsement of Google, all with the endorsement of YouTube. In other words, not only am I not giving them money, but I'm pirating their video without any work at all to then record content for myself and I'm going to make money from it. I make some small changes so as not to cause copyright problems, so as not to end up as a copy. Otherwise, I could just take the transcription itself and read it. So, ah, uh, 
I'm officially just using a tool from YouTube to make money by model to appropriate someone else's video, make money, but at the same time not give any money to the creator. How can YouTube launch a tool like this? And does it get worse? It continues. Here. Now imagine for example that I take a video here. Let's say a bit longer. Let's take a podcast here. I don't know, an AI podcast. Let's take this one. So there's a 50 minute video here, for example, a 50 minute video. Look, an ad just popped up here. Is it an ad? Now I don't know. Let me grab one here that shows up. Ad here. Oh, uh, the uh, Saucius podcast. An hour and a half. Wonder. So what happened? It's not showing up here. Ad now I remembered because I have a YouTube premium account, right? But basically, here's the thing. I grabbed a video here from the Socius podcast. Wonderful. But what happens is this could get even worse because look how interesting. You can grab a video here. Look, I grabbed a podcast here, an hour and a half, the future of jobs with artificial intelligence. Look how interesting. I'm going to come here, copy the video here again. All right. It doesn't let me copy a video here in the same window. Okay, folks. So what am I going to, I'm going to hit create prompt. It will reset, but here in my library, which is my library. So that means there's a history of everything I've done here, right? To have the history, you need to be logged into a Google account, a Gmail account. Cool. So I came here, copied again. The limit I managed was around an hour hour and a half, two hours. It didn't work here. Prompt. It didn't let me because it exceeded. But let's put it here then. Podcast. Let's try to grab the video here. That's one hour long. One hour and 24. Let's grab here. Look, 50 minutes. Cool. Let's grab 50 minutes here. So I'm going to copy here. I'm going to open another little window here. Okay. I'm going to open another little window here and I'm going to put a 50 minute video. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, nine, 13,000. Ready. Tolkien's legal. And look, isn't that interesting, right? I'm going to come here and say the following. Summarize. Or rather, create a script with an introduction, development, and con create a script with an introduction, development, and conclusion so I can make a video for the YouTube. Look, isn't that interesting? I'm telling it to Google that I'm going to use it to create a video. So what are the consequences of this when it's happened? They aren't making money because they earn money for every thousand views. But what happens? There are no ads running. If there are no ads running, what does that mean? That means YouTube isn't making money either. It's not just the YouTube creator who isn't making money either. If there are no ads running, it means the advertiser isn't making money because I'm not seeing their ad. In other words, the advertiser is screwed. YouTube is screwed and the content creator is screwed. The only person who benefits from this tool is a person who doesn't have time, doesn't want to watch the video, and so he goes and does it. The summary asks the question there. So the only person who benefits is the user. Now, if no one is making money, YouTube is going to go bankrupt just like that because YouTube lives off the old ad. Look how toxic it is. This tool. Let's just take a look at the result here. It's going to take a while here around, I don't know, maybe two or three minutes. But look how interesting you can create a prompt to extract the video, to create a script. Then you make a prompt for the introduction, a prompt for the conclusion. And what else can you do? If it gets a little small, you can just enlarge. You can say something like, look, expand a bit more on this topic, expand a bit more on that other topic. Look how interesting. Let's suppose I want to talk here, development, conclusion, and so on. Here, it didn't pull exactly. Let's see, create a script. Okay, summarize the main points of the video. Just a reminder, everyone, that everything that's here inside the Google AI Studio Lab are experimental tools, right? They receive feedback and then they sell it to make money. So sometimes there might be a bug. In this case, it gave me a script template. It didn't give me specifically, he didn't interact with the video, did he? Let's put here, summarize the main points of the video. Then it's going to summarize for me and from there I'll develop. Well, folks, it took a little longer because it has about an hour. I asked it to summarize the main points of the video and it did. But look, what a crazy thing. I took advantage of this script template that it provided. Here, put the objective. Here, put the target audience. Here, put suggested title. So what did I do? I combined this template way with the content. Look, just what I said. Take the content from the YouTube video with the summary you gave me. Dive deeper into each of the points and fit it into this script format below. So I'm telling it to take the content and fill in the script for me. And look, it filled it in. Look at the size here. If I take here suggested titles, attention trigger and everything else, and it's filling it in here. For example, what is the problem? Artificial intelligence and the growing integration between humans and machines create a lot of expectation. Development. Present Miguel Nicolelis as one of the pioneers in the study of brain-human interaction. Let's take the conclusion review. Benefit. By understanding Nicolelis' vision, we can reflect. So he filled out the entire script format here. I can still take and develop each of the point. Comment down below. And with this tool, if it becomes well known, if it takes off, if YouTube goes crazy and moves forward, you're worried about your pot channel crashing 
at the end of YouTube. And advertisers are really pissed off and might move to another lot. social network since their ads aren't going to comment here because I want to know. And if you want to internationalize your channel, making three to five times more money with the same work you do in Brazil, this video is for you.